Treylock. This is a word that has been fluent throughout the cat community for months now. Despite this, it is rather unbeknownst to the majority of the community exactly what it is and what causes it. Well today, in my channel revival video, I'm going to go into depth about what Treylock is and why it occurs. First off, if you have no knowledge of what a Treylock is, it's essentially a trade ban. A trade lock disables your ability to trade, pick up crates, and buy shop items. However, you can still craft items and open crates. If you ask a player, can I trade you? And they say, no, I am trade lock. This does not mean they have disabled their trades and settings. A trade lock player cannot unlock their trades. So please stop replying to, I am trade locked with, oh, we'll just unlock them then. This is very silly, and we will laugh at you. There are two causes of a trade lock. One of these is if you have two or more duplicated items in your inventory at once. Each item has a unique ID, a long string of numbers, which is attached to it. A duplicated version of that item will have an identical ID, meaning that if two of these are detected in the same inventory, they are marked as duplicated and the owner is trade locked. The second cause is basically identical to the first, except this time the owner of the items has duplicated them. This will cause the inventory to be flagged. This means that the webhook bot has detected these two items have been made in this player's inventory. However, this bot has had its slip-ups, and of course I had to be at the end of it all. It is because of that that appealing a ban after being flagged is near impossible, as the bot is trusted over the word of an accused duper. Inventory mark. The most common trade lock message is when you have received the two duped items in trades. This means that you will not be banned, but you will probably have to wait until the next cat update to gain the ability to trade again. Take note that trading on an alternate account is not listed as bannable as of yet. Trade locks are not all bad, as it has shut down infamous dupers as the likes of Harazo, a cross trader, scripter, and duper known for his long shot collection. It also means that the rarity of items that were duped to dirt common will increase heavily in rarity, such as R6, Karambits, Orps, Screams, and long shots. You can tell if an item is duped in a couple ways. The first is if you have two of the same duped item in your inventory, and you equip one of them. The second will also equip, and you will have two items equipped. Another way to tell is if your R6 is crafted by Mr. Hater 16 or Azokun, Evil Kane, Kirk, or text 1301 underscore YT. There are also alternate accounts of dupers that are largely unknown, so craft names may be a worry if they look a bit suspicious. Also, try to avoid low kill long shots in R6s unless you're trading with VFD, because these are most likely candidates to be duped. Also, I did forget to mention that if you are in a trade menu and you try to put one of your duped items in, the other one will disappear out of the trade option. So you can never put two of the same duped item in a trade Except for the time, of course, that I traded for my two tube death orbs, which were given to me in the exact same trade, and I think that that has a reason to do with why I was flagged. 